Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Professor of English, Arabi Susi. Uh, the lesson today, inshallah, is a lesson of, of vocabulary about uh, noun suffixes. Uh, before we uh, start the lesson, let's first define what we mean by suffixes. What are suffixes? Um, let's take the example of the word forget. Tensa. Forget. Uh, if we add the letters, of A, B, L, we have a new word. Forgettable. So, this is a verb. But when we add able, the verb becomes adjective. So these letters, these letters are added at the end of the word to form a new word. And this is what we call a suffix. What is a suffix? A suffix is a letter or a group of letters that we add at the end of a word why? to form new ones new words uh, the example here able now imagine I add the word or the letters un n the beginning of the word forgettable it becomes Unforgettable. It's a new word. It's the opposite of forgettable. Unforgettable. Lainsa. So here, these letters here are called a prefix. This is a prefix. N is a prefix. What are prefixes? Prefixes are a le are letters. One letter or group of letters that we add at the beginning of words to form new words. So they are very important uh, items in word formation. Their the role is to enrich the vocabulary, my vocabulary. And we need to learn them uh, exactly so that we can use them uh, daily. Today, inshallah, we're going to focus on suffixes. And we're going to focus on suffixes. Exactly, the IST suffix, ER suffix, and OR suffix. These three suffixes are used to form nouns, as math, and especially nouns of doers of action. We'll see the example. So, if we take this example here, the verb play, if we add ER, the suffix, it becomes player. What is a player? It's a person who plays. It's a person who does the action of playing. So player is a noun. And how did we transform this verb into a noun? By using the suffix er. So this suffix, suffix is called a noun suffix. It means it is used to form nouns. I give you here a list of words and I need you to transform them into uh, uh, by adding them suffixes at the end of them and let's put them in the right column whether it is going to be uh, uh, used with IST or ER or OR. Let's take the first example. Act. Good. An actor. Good. Here or here? Good. It's here. Actor. Very good. Violin. The violin. Uh, it's a musical instrument. Come and jump. Violin. A person who uses the violin is called? Good. A violinist. Right. Good. Writer. Uh, pay attention. We have E at the end. The vowel E at the end. So we're going to add only R. Okay. Only the R. So... Writer, this time write in the club so that we can see the change. Mm -hmm. Art, excellent, an artist here. An artist, 
compose, person who compose, music or poetry, composer, good, so here, good, direct, good, here, good, it's here, O R at the end, direct, Sing. Very easy. Singer. Who's your best singer? I love Kenny Rogers. Okay. Singer. Drive. A driver. Here. Paint. Good. A painter. Here. Excellent. So, that's all for today with this lesson. I hope you got the idea of noun suffixes. See you then.